Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, Rakaq Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone who rule and teach world the whole collect. Sincere Shalom to the whole collect. The house of David is tuned in to the truth, pushing the truth with all truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Now, um, I was watching this video, and uh, appears to be a Jake, Israelite man, and you know he has his a YouTube channel going into um, uh, SHTF preparations. In this video, in particular, it's very spiritual because a lot of things he was saying in here are straight out of the scriptures, and I highly doubt. That he understands what he's saying is all a part of biblical prophecy. Now let's just dive straight into this video and you'll see what I mean. It's Normie. What's up, y'all? I'm back again. I've been getting some comments about war, about foreign invasion, about China, Iran, Russia, you know. And that is why my ultimate goal is to make it to Colorado, the Rocky Mountains, Utah. I mean, there's so many places we can hide if they come. And, and China's not going to just fucking drop parachuters out of the sky. They're going to bomb this motherfucker, man. They're going to hit this motherfucker with <laughs> something big. Because they got to. They got to hit. They can't just come in and be like, okay, it's a third world country. We're about to just, nah. So... And this ma this video was made about two years ago, 20, 2021. And uh, he's pretty much talking about nuclear nuclear warfare, man. Which is a part of the scriptures. That America, which is Babylon the Great, that great whore, right, that rides upon the beast. Roughly uh, paraphrasing. That's what he's talking about. And this place will 100% be... Um, Nuked, 200 million nukes are going to rain down hail upon this place. Now I'm going to go to Psalms 44 in verse 6. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. And you see this guy, he got, what is that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then one mag in the, in the, in the, in the gun. He has seven magazines, pistols, just bullets, just piled up on the ground. This man is stocking up for doomsday, man. Whatever. He's stocking up for SHTF. And he's going to put his his hope and faith in his weapon, his weaponry. And that's the what these, uh, the majority, pretty much everybody on the planet Earth is going to do. And, you know, you may have some. Some, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a specific word. Let me look it up before I say it. A zealot. Alright, you're going to have zealots that believe in their religion to death, even though no profit comes from it. But for the most part, the majority of people are going to fold, man. They're going to take the sea hip. They're going to have faith in the, this, what is it, AR-15 or something? They're going to have faith in this AR-15, and you, 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 30 round clips, and 9 millimeter, 5.56. Five, and he said what? This place will be nuked by multiple nations, right? Specifically, he's talking about China, but as a whole, uh, all these countries are going to blast off on Babylon the Great. This is Jeremiah 50 and 29. And it reads, uh, Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow. Camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she hath done. Do unto her, for she hath been proud against Yahweh, against the Holy One of Israel. When they, they come... They're going to come with full force. And you're not safe where you are, especially in the bigger cities. You know, they're going to have to cripple those cities, man. They're going to hit them motherfuckers. That's why I'm... And that's right. That's in the scriptures as well. 
that um cities will be will be uh, very uh, chaotic compared to rural areas all right and he said what china this is psalm 60 and 8 moab which is a so-called chinaman moab is my wash pot over edom all right so the heavenly father has these edomites and these moabites in conjunction with each other and then you hear this man talking about the cities uh let's go into ezekiel ezekiel um actually no let's go to yeah ezekiel not 12 ezekiel let's go to ezekiel 7 and um 15 the sword is without and the pestilence and the famine within he that is in the field shall die by the sword right and that field is what those rural areas the wilderness right the countryside and he that is in the city right houston and Atlanta, vegas that's actually a song by drake called houston Atlanta, vegas uh, from one of his albums uh so far so gone he that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine, pestilence shall devour him. And that's that's how it's going to go down. Of course, people are going to die by the sword and pestilence in the in the, uh, rural areas too. But there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, gunfighting, specifically in these rural areas, mainly because they're very spread out. Okay, and there's a lot of preppers in those in those. Uh, uh, rural, rural size. The, 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 what do you call it? Um, off grid and uh, s these smaller towns, so on and, and so forth. And I believe, according to what these Edomites in America have said, in order for a, a, a town to become a city, it has to be um two hundred fifty thousand people in there, I believe. But that's that's besides the point, right? Hiding in the caves, man. Even like, let's play that back. And in the caves, man, they gonna hit them motherfuckers. That's why I'm hiding in the caves, man. He said he hiding in the caves. What does that remind you of? Let's go to the book of Revelations six and um, Revelation six and fifteen. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains. So everything he's saying is directly lining up with these scriptures, which is just further confirmation that we are in those times. Even like some type of civil unrest where something was to happen where, where there were lawlessness, that'll be an easier target for other countries to come invade. Civil unrest, right? Second Ezra's 15 and 16 for there, sh for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, civil, civil unrest, and their course of their actions shall stand in their power. For there's the blue helmets, China, Russia, Iran, I mean, whoever. They probably are going to come together, man. So, yeah, that's my whole thing, man. We got to get the fuck up out of Dodge, bro. <laughs> we have to go, you know, and my thing is, you know, we've been having threats of EMPs and that's, you know, wiping out anything that's electronical, you know, I mean, I'm ready for that, you know, not completely ready, but we, we got to be ready for all fronts, on all fronts, ready for anything, but it's, some big is coming, man. Yes, I do believe that there will be some type of um, there will there will be some type of major war on American soil. Every large successful civilization throughout history has fallen. You know, and and this place is going down, and he sees it. You have you would have to be a fool. Or really puffed up with pride to think Babylon the Great is not tumbling down the drain. This is um Revelations 14 and verse 8. And there followed another angel 
saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, that main city. Uh, I mean, that main, the main nations is the children of Israel, man. I don't believe in the people who say they're the leader of those countries actually run those countries. I believe in the powers that be. And that powers that be is that what? Secret Council of the Wicked. Let's get that. This is Psalms 64 and 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. So this Jake is on to something, right? He understands the times that were coming in, coming in too. Okay. But, again, I, who knows what this Jake's, uh, who knows what this Jake's, um, out, outlook, if he's in the, in the truth. All right. He's, he's the most high is dealing with him now or not. Who knows? But I highly doubt, uh, just from watching his videos, that he, he has a true understanding of these scriptures, man. You know? This is Romans 10 and 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. And this, like I said, who knows what this brother believes in. He, from more, more than likely, he's a Jake. All right? But he he clearly uh, understands uh, prophecy, right? He understands prophecy. Now, is he connecting the prophecy with the scriptures? No, okay. But just from his, from his eye salve, from what he can see, what's going on in the world, he sees what's coming. But he, more, like I said, he more than likely doesn't understand that this is this has been written. Runs the world, and they said it's time for America to fall, and. That's what's about to happen, man, you know. And these Edomites don't want Babylon the Great to be annihilated. <laughs> Why would they want Babylon the Great to be annihilated, man? They want this place to keep running. This is the Edomites' um, glory. That's where he's going off right there. They're, they think they, they, he's giving too much credit to these to these, these ish people, these, these, these the Amalekites, man, the top dogs uh, on the planet Earth right now, carnally speaking. Let's get that. This is Numbers 24 and 20. And when he looked on Amalek and took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Amalek, which is the so-called Ish people, the imposters, the 1948ers, the small hats with the big noses, they don't want this place to be annihilated. Why would they? Right? Let's let's continue. That's part of the great reset. I mean, we're not going to be the world superpower anymore. You know, our currency is not going to be world superpower. And uh, and guess what? This was in twenty twenty one, and it's and it's starting to happen now. So you see, people that's not even in the truth can see what what's happening. It's not just us brothers and sisters in the truth that that see what's going on in this world. We 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 just have the ultimate knowledge, uh, to filter it and truly understand through the script through the scriptures. This is uh, Ezekiel twelve and two, son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see and see not; they have ears to hear and hear not, for they are a rebellious house. And Jake is extremely rebellious and hard headed. And rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, right? Roughly paraphrasing. Let's go to Matthew. 13 and 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily, ver for verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and, not have, and have not heard them. They're about to take a full advantage of the situation, you know. It's time to pass the torch on and we about to sink low. And that's if you're not ready, man. So, yeah, I believe that. Uh, and the only way, technically speaking, we don't we don't even know who's ready, right? Let's play that back. 
so you can get a more context on what I'm about to say. All right, let him repeat himself. Pass the torch on, and we about to sink low. That's if you're not ready, man. Sink low if you're not ready, right? The only people that's going to make it is the elect. Okay? Just because you got, I don't know, 100,000 rounds of ammo and bulletproof armor and food stocked up in a, uh, a warehouse, whatever. The Most High can get you gone, man. He can get you gone through a disease. You can have a heart attack. He can spend, send angels to come kill you. He can send some super soldiers to come kill you. All right? So the only people that will have it set in stone are the elect. And we don't even know who the elect are now. Uh, I'm going to end this off on this scripture right here. This is Second Ezra 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape... By his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. I'm in that off right there. Lord, Lord's will is edifying. Shalom.